I swear, I'm just doing a whole fucking day of losing. I've been losing on God of War for like the past 45 minutes in the same spot. I'm playing it on hardest difficulty. I'm trying to beat uh, a game of mine called Legend of Dragoon. Y'all probably never heard of it because y'all ain't cool enough, you know, you ain't cool like me. Um, and I'm on the last boss of like a 40 hour game. And I've been losing to that all day. And then I switched to God of War and now I'm losing to this all day. And then, like, 15 minutes into making this video, my fucking phone crashes. And now I'm having to re uh, record it. So, uh, YouTuber intro. <laughs> I think Devil May Cry, Devil May Cry, as in DMC, is a severely underrated game. And I really hope, I'm hoping, that the guy who, um, the guy who commented on my last Devil May Cry video, well, not my last one, but one of my Devil May Cry videos, um, I really hope he sees this. Like, I don't remember your name, but, like, random dude on that one video, shout out. If you're listening, you, you, you're great, man. Write a whole book about this, please. <laughs> but, um... Anyways, though, I think DMC is a severely underrated game, as I previously stated. Um, to be clear, I'm not saying it's a good game. I'm not saying it's a perfect game. No game's perfect. There are flaws with every game. You know, the whole series has them. Uh, but as far as, like, just raw quality, yeah, this ain't got it either. You, you, <laughs> you know, and I sounded like I was saying, like, I was going to say, uh, as far as raw quality, this one, mmm, mmm, yes. <laughs> no, this is, this is pretty terrible. Um, it's also my second time making this video, so I might be a little bit more negative and pissed off, but, hey, that just fits the character because Dante is pissed off and negative all the time. Um, alright, alright, let me, let me de-stress, you know, t t take a breather, you know, okay, okay. Anyways, though, I have some really big pros and some really big cons. I think that the gameplay side of this game is incredible. I mean, no 10 out of 10 masterpiece, but if you just if you just look at the gameplay alone, it is solid, and it is like easily a six, six out of 10. Um, I think that. I really, um, I really like, god, this is really hard because I'm trying to bring out the points that I made in the previous video, you know, video, because it now doesn't exist, but it's, uh, I don't know, anyways, I think that the, uh, gen uh, the angelic weapons and the demonic weapons are a really cool addition. I really like how they have the grappling hook mechanic or, um, pull to mechanic whatever you would call that which mean which just means that either by using either trigger or L2 or R2 you can either pull an enemy towards you or you can pull yourself to an enemy so say you're surrounded by a whole bunch of enemies and you need to get out of there just yoink yourself onto that guy over there you know or say you are feeling a little cocky you feeling like a badass you know yoink that guy and pull them over to you, you know, I think that's really cool, I also think that this game has, out of every other Devil May Cry game, talking 1 through 5, every other Devil May Cry game, I think this game has the best uh, and most creative level design, because this, uh, the platforming in Devil May Cry has never really felt quite right, the first one's particularly bad, but you don't have it in, but maybe two, three sections, you know, where you actually have the platform. There's like a spot in the beginning of the game where you have to, um, cross this bridge that's like been destroyed, and it's like, uh, like floating blocks and stuff like that you have to jump on. Let, y'all, I'm gonna be real with y'all. I have never passed that. I mean, I have obviously, but I have never passed it in one go. I have never got that on my first try what you're gonna do. Uh, 
And then there's a spot, like, I want to say it's either before you fight Griffin or after you fight Griffin the um, first time. I don't know. But you got to climb up to this um, thing to grab a thing. I don't remember. I haven't played this. I haven't played Double McCry 1 in about two years now. I might, I might replay it just for, you know, shoots and ladders. But I haven't played that in about two years now. But you have to do that, and that's just atrocious. Um... And then the second game doesn't really have any platforming. Yeah. Huh. Second game doesn't, like, have any platforming. I mean, you jump on top of stuff, sure, but you never have to jump on a platform. Like, a floating platform. Like, yay! <laughs> what the fuck is that noise? Um. I don't know. But anyways, though, Devil May Cry 3 has some pretty bad platforming, too, because the jumps always just feel so limited. You feel like... Once you jump, that's it. You are locked in. You are going at that angle, at that arc, at that speed. You know, like, no, uh, no, no room for error. Uh, no room for any difference, you know? Um, DMC DMC, I think, has great jumping, great platforming. It was a game that I actually wanted to jump up on top of things and go up here and go up there. Uh... And, the, again, the level design. Those grappling hooks I mentioned, either the pull you or the pull them, it, they incorporate it into the level design, and there will be spots where, say, a floating platform is just over there, and you have to hook it back over to you. <clears throat> Excuse me. Excuse me. Sorry about that. But anyways, you have to hook a platform to you, or you have to grab your, uh, and, like, grappling hook yourself to a platform Batman style. And I just think that's really cool. And there'll be times where, um, like, storage crates, I mean, uh, storage containers or whatever, you have to, like, pull the doors open. You know, and it's just small stuff like that. That doesn't really, like, impact you that much, but it just shows that they put that little bit of effort in, you know? Um, I really like the combos, and I really... Like how when Dante swings his swords, particularly with Rebellion, uh, when Dante swings, I'm talking DMC Dante, Dante, when he swings, he puts his whole body into it. Like just that first slash or like any time like you end a combo, he's like almost off kilter by like how heavy he's swinging, you know, he puts his full body into it. Um, and it also shows like how much of an amateur he is, you know, do like Devil May Cry Dante. I'll say DMC Dante to refer to DMC Dante and Devil May Cry Dante to refer to the, you know, original Dante. Yeah, I got that right. But anyways, Devil May Cry Dante, um, this guy to be precise, uh, this guy, you know, whenever he does anything, it is perfect, and I'm not saying this as a negative, but it is perfectly executed it is perfectly balanced, he has, his footwork is perfect, you know, and that shows you just how, uh, how easy it is for him, and how, like, god, this thing is dusty, but it just shows you how easy everything is for him, you know, whereas, like, Dante, from DMC, uh, it feels like he's an amateur, he doesn't quite know what he's doing, he, uh, is kind of more just angry, and, like I said, he puts his whole sm his whole weight into it rather than being, like, perfectly weighted like Dante, true Dante is. And that just shows you how young he is, how amateur he is. And it just builds a little bit of character. Because rather than just being, like, a static standing slash, it's like a, whew, you know? And he really puts his work into it. Um, I'll just put that right there so that can be in the background. There you go. You can look at that the rest of the video. That like perfectly balanced. Y'all see that? But anyways, uh, and as I either said before or said in the other video, I don't remember because I'm literally doing these back to back. Um, I really don't like the characterization. I'll do like a good thing I like and then a bad thing I uh, don't like, and then a good thing I like and then a bad thing I don't like. So I really don't like the characterization of Virgil. Mundus is an absolute absolute joke, and it is Mundus, not Mundus, not Mundus. It's Mundus. That's what they say in the game. 
I don't know why everybody ha feels the need to like have their own specific pronunciation of the word. Uh, same thing with like the Tekken series. It's Tekken. Like technically, if you want to be, if you if you know stuff like I do, is Tech Ken. You know, like Tech Ken. Um, but it is Kazuya and Hayachi. All right. These are not Hayachi Mashima and Kazuya Mashima. And Jin Kazama, for that matter, but I mean, that one's pretty easy. It is not Hayachi. It is not Hi. It is Hayachi. You know, Hayachi Mashima. That's how they say it in the game. I don't know why everybody feels the need to, like, not. In Yoshimitsu? Yoshimitsu. That's how you say it. Alright, random tirade over. Um, speaking on that guy who posted on my other video. Yeah, you're right, bro. Tangents, and uh, I go off and just talk about random shit that doesn't even relate at all. So, let's get back on topic. Um, what the fuck was I even talking about? Oh, the characterization, yeah. Mundus is a joke. Uh, Virgil, I do not like Virgil. He is, like, if I was to describe him in any way, just watered down. He is, like, like Virgil... DMC, like, Devil May Cry Virgil, True Virgil, particularly in 5, is, like, a nice, crisp Pepsi or Coke or whatever soda of your choice that you like. You know, it is, like, a nice, crisp Coke that when you, you pop it up and... That, that was... That's not, like... I, I don't know, I can't make the noise. But it cracks open, and you just drink it, and you're like... Ah, that's good. DMC Virgil is like a watered down Coke or soda of your choice. That's like been sitting there for a little while now. And I mean, it's still good. You're still going to drink it. You know, it's it's fine. It, it's fine as is. But like, it's, you, you sip into it and it's like. Mm. You know, that's the difference. Um, I, I really don't like him. I think maybe he had potential, but no. Nah. Uh, something I like is I like Dante. Oh, oh. Blasphemy, I know. I like DMC Dante. Not as Dante. I like him as his own character. I think that Dante, as his own character, that's what uh, the fans refer to calling him as, as Dante. As his own character, is good. I like him. I like how angry he is. I like how amateur he is, as I spoke. And, like, as, as I talked about, like, with the swings and stuff like that. And he seems to be more full of himself and not really, uh, 100%, like, got this demon hunting shit down. Um, and speaking of shit, he curses like a motherfucker. You know, like, Dante has a mouth on him. And there's a scene that, like, so, like most everybody uh, points to as being, like, terrible. You know, and it's the scene where uh, Dante goes into, like, I don't know if you call it the boiler room, but speaking about sodas, he goes into the, uh, like, soda factory and like, the bottom level, and he talks to this, like, succubus demon that's like, um... I'm 10,000 years old. And he starts shit talking her. And then she just goes, Fuck you! And he's like, Fuck you! And he's like, Fuck you! You know? And I can see how that, like, that's totally cringy and shit. But I can also see on the other hand that, like, I don't know, maybe it's just, like, playing games online and shit like that. And, like, you know, getting people, like, mad and riled up. You know, you can, like, break someone down, especially, like, if it's a 10,000-year-old demon who, like, has do been doing their thing for, like, millennia or whatever, you know, I, I, those years, don't, those don't add up, but whatever, and you can just break them down to the point where instead of, like, saying something, like, saying any type of, like, uh, comment or rebuttal or insult back at you, they just break down and just yell, fuck you, <laughs> you know? Like, I, I don't know, it's, it's it's like trolling people online, you know, and like, um, you know, that like meme was like, ah, you mad, you mad, you know, because <laughs> it's just, uh, it's terrible, 
but it's great because it's terrible. It's like shit talking people online. Um, something I don't like. The whole story. I already spoke about the characterization, but the story is boring. You know, like I don't care. Um, it it gives me nothing to actually relate to. Um, like I don't I don't feel for like Dante uh, Dante. I don't feel for Dante's and Cat's relationship. Um. I don't really uh, care about Mundus's mistress, and however, her level is great. But I'll leave that, and when I get back into like positive shit, um, the and then like the ending where like Virgil, this Virgil, uh, Virgin, you know, we'll call him Dante and Virgin instead of Dante and Virgil, but um, <laughs> but the ending where it's like we'll rule over everyone, like. Bro, everyone saw that coming. You know, like, what? He was a bad guy? <laughs> you know? That's like, I I don't know, like, even if DMC DMC is your first, like, game, like, you've got to see that coming, bro. Um, you know? I don't know. Um, oh, and speaking of first games, um, I believe it said it in the one that's gone to the Shadow Realm now, but... Do not play this as your first game. Um, this is not a good first game. Uh, as I said in my Devil May Cry 2 video, don't play either of those games as your first game. I would, I would play 1, 3, or 5 as the first game. If you want the reasons, watch that video. Hey, it'll be up in that corner right there. Uh, no, I'm, I actually don't know how to do that just yet because I'm not very good at this YouTube shit. But, like, maybe one day when I learn how to put, um, when I learn how to put, uh, annotations or whatever they're called, I'll do that, you know? Um, what the fuck was I talking about? Oh, yeah. This, I would recommend, like, do the meta approach to it, you know? Just, um, play all of the other games first, or, like, most of the other games at least, you know? Get to know who actual Dante is, that boy over there. You know, get to know who actual Dante actually is. Um, and then go into this one, knowing it's going to be shit, you know, with your expectations low, and just laugh at it. It's, it's fun, you know. Point and laugh. Uh, you know. <laughs> um, no, but for real though, like, um, yeah, just know what you're getting into going in. It, it's no... You know, last one I said is like Diamond in the Rough. This one is like a pretty neat rock. You know, it's like cool and not that's not so bad because I actually really like rocks. I actually have rocks, like a rock, whatever. Um, it's like a chicken wing that you dropped on the floor. You can still eat it. No one's gonna stop you. You're 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 a grown person. You know, assuming anyways. No one's going to stop you from eating that chicken when you just dropped on the floor. And it's not going to taste... Uh, it's going to be weird, but you can do it. This metaphor is fucking terrible. <laughs> Both of these are. Um. God, okay. Yeah, anyways, though. So I guess that was something I do like or don't like. I don't know. I'll just say that... Oh, another thing is at some point there I don't know if he's like a demon I don't know if he's like one of uh one of the, I mean he's one of the good guys but like there's some guy with like a robot eye but not like Kano or something like he's like got like a uh he's got a contraption on his eye and all he does is talk to you but he's cool um I really like Bob Bogus um dude's a total shit and like Rockin' is, like, knocking his shit in, like, felt so cathartic, you know, and, you know, finally say, like, I think, uh, what does he say, he's like, hey, you just got cancelled, or you're off the air, or something like that, or, like, I don't know, I don't know what Dante says, but, like, it's so, like, he just came up with it, you know, and with Dante, true Dante, the things he says, he's also just coming up with it, because I don't think Dante is, like, in that Dante. I don't think he's, like, in the mirror, like, prepping. Like, he's like, okay, okay. What am I going to say? All right, all right, um, all right, all right. Uh, hey, you know, 
in a dog show, you'd win first place. You know, I don't think he's like that. You know, that Dante is, like, funny and cool just like that. He, he just is. Dante is, like, a tryhard, and I kind of fucking love him for it, because he's just such a shit. He's terrible. Um, yeah, he's, like, a really awful person. <laughs> I don't know why I like that, but I do. Uh, um, yeah. And I think it is a lot of fun. Um, like I said, the gameplay is solid. The level design is brilliant. And like I said, I think out of all five games, one through five, I think that DMC has the best level design of the entire franchise. Um, the platforming is the best of the entire franchise. That is including the fifth game. I'm also calling shots to the fifth game. You know, DMC has better level design than the fifth game. The fifth game, half of the uh, half of the fucking game is like tree. You know, gray roots, and they differ from very dark gray to very light gray. And you go through like a blood tube and stuff, and like this, you know, it's shit. You know, uh, the city's all right. That's actually pretty cool. I actually like the city. Um. And, like, where you go to, like, Dante's house, I actually like that, too. But the tree, the Quaifoth, is awful. That is, like, the worst level design ever. Um, yeah, this ain't got no Quaifoth in it. I remember, like, specific levels. I remember the Bob Burgess fight. I remember, uh, the strip club. I remember, <laughs> I remember like, the, uh, the streets, like, the city streets and the, um, factory. Factory was a little boy, and I'll admit it is just a factory. Uh... You know, and all of the limbo levels, like, holy cow, like, um, like, you can see where they were actually, it's an evolution from Devil May Cry 4, like, specifically with, uh, Nero's reach, uh, thing, where you can, like, grab onto grappling points, and they just took that and fucking went with it. They were like, let's, let's build whole set pieces out of that, you know, and they just went with it. Um, yeah, Virgil sucks, you know, virgin, uh, cat is pretty lame, I don't really care about cat, I don't really like, when she was on danger, I was like, oh no, <laughs> you know, gotta get her, uh, I don't really care for the story, the character's motivations are kinda lame, there's a reluctant hero, and then Dante just doesn't give a shit for like half of the game, and then for some reason just comes around and it's like, I'm the hero, you know, which, you almost, you almost think he kind of just went into that with, like, well, I can get that cat, you know, <laughs> you know, um, I don't know, and I gotta say, I'm moving, and I'm, I can't wait to show somebody, uh, well, I mean, I can say who, like, my mom. Like, I showed my mom the whole Devil May Cry franchise. We actually started with the fifth game, like I said. And then we went back and played the third game. And then... Moved. You know, I moved out. So, um... But, I'm moving back in. This pandemic's really hard. You know, how it'd be sometimes. It'd be like that. Um... No, but for real, like... I'm... I'm killing it with these fucking, like... Oh, see that? <laughs> That's why I get pussy. <laughs> That's why I get pussy and you don't. Anyways, though, um, <laughs> uh, anyways though, anyways though, uh, I can't wait to show this to her because she knows the other. Like we're gonna play all the other games first. Don't worry, guys. Um, but yeah. Um, yeah. I think that's it. So, I think this is a great game. No, it's not. I think this is a fun... A fun game when you just look at the... Like, if you, um... Like, if you just skip the cutscenes and stuff like that... Game's a banger. You know? Like, if you just, like... Watch maybe, like, one or two cutscenes here and there... Just so you know the general gist of what you're doing in the story and this and that... Game's a banger. Is when you watch the cutscenes and the story, that's like... Hey, it's getting kind of... You're losing me. You're losing me. Um, 
Yeah, I had something else to say, but I don't remember what that was. So, I think that's just my all, my general thoughts. So, not really fond of the character characterization, but I love the level design. Um, I love the combat, but I hate the story. Um, so, I mean, it is definitely a mixed bag. And this one comes with the caveat of this is the bad one. You know, um, I don't know. But I'd say it is a, like, it's easily a 6 out of 10. I like it quite a bit. And that is all my thoughts. So, I've been Scavenger. And I don't know why I'm showing you that, but peace. Yeah.